Now, I've said that there are only two types of loops in programming specifically. But in the language of C, there are actually three different loop constructs. We've seen two of them. We've seen the while loop and we've seen the for loop. There's a third one called the do while loop. The do while loop. It's not very commonly used and it's actually very, very similar to the while loop. In fact, if they took it out completely, there wouldn't be much of a problem because it's, it's only got a very uh, limited number of uses. But it's part of the C language, so I'm going to show it to you. This is what it looks like. Okay, I can see that most of you in your heads are comparing it to the while loop. Notice that the while, the word while, and the condition inside the brackets is at the bottom. Notice all, also that it's, separate, it's, it's, sorry, it's terminated by a semicolon after the condition. Now, <laughs> I think you, if you cast your mind back to the if statement, and I stressed many times not to put a semicolon on the end of the if statement. Similarly, I could say to you never put a semicolon on the end of a while loop unless it's a do while loop. See, there's a special exception there. So you put the word do at the top and then you put your uh, open and closing, closing curly brackets, the statements inside, and the while clause at the end. And the flow of execution goes like this. Firstly, all the statements get executed. Then the condition is checked to see if the condition is true. If the condition is true, it goes and executes the statements again. If the condition is false, then it simply moves on to the next line, which is outside the bottom of the loop. It's quite simple. It's quite simple. Just, it's as simple as the original do, uh, sorry, the original while loop. So here's the question. What's the difference between this and the while loop? Can you think about it? Well, I'll give you the simple and concise answer to that question. There's one difference between the do while loop and the while loop. And this is it. You use a do while loop if you want those statements to get executed at least once. Notice here that the statements will get executed before any condition is ever evaluated. Whereas with the original while loop, you had to evaluate the condition first and the condition could be false at the beginning. So it, it was possible to never execute the statements at all. Well, with the do while loop, you must execute the statements once. Imagine a few of you are thinking to yourselves, okay, what possible use could that be? When would I ever use that when I've got the while loop, which is almost more powerful than that? Well, let me give you a brief and simple example of when you might use the do while loop. Okay, this is do while.c. You'll find this in the chapter 5 module of your CD as well. At the moment, it's exactly the same as while.c, the very first one. Remember this? Now I'm going to change this into a do while loop. This while loop, I'm going to change it into a do while loop, which means getting rid of that top while up there and putting it down the bottom, putting the word do up here instead, and putting a semicolon on the end. I've now changed it from a while loop to a do while loop. Would you all agree with that? Okay. The question is now, does the program still work? Well, examine it for a little bit and you'll find that it does. So how has that possibly benefited us? Has it benefited us at all, is the question. And the answer is, well, it has, because it means that we don't need to do this clumsy thing up the top by setting char type equal x. That was always a clumsy and I was always uncomfortable doing that because it's not elegant, it's not beautiful, it's not clean. And I think program should be all of the above. Now, type gets set for the first time right here. We don't need to initialize it to some dummy value beforehand. Also, well, we could do this before. We may as well do it now. We can take this, st this statement here out and we can put it after the end of the loop. Okay, that doesn't need to be inside the loop. Why doesn't it need to be inside the loop? Well, have a think about it. If it was inside the loop, it gets executed every time through the loop, even if they enter an incorrect character. We only need to get executed once. Once is enough. Anyway, taking it out of the loop makes my program slightly more efficient. You should always be thinking in these terms. We could have done that with the previous type of loop, uh, the, the regular while loop as well. I just I didn't think of it at that particular point in time. So we've got a working do while loop. Now, is there anything not to like about this program? 
Well, we've still got slightly duplicated code here, which I don't like. But uh, just changing our while loop into a do while loop is not going to fix that. So is there anything else? Yes. I really just don't like do while loops at all. I don't like them because you can't immediately grasp what's going on. You start up here and you come down here and you start reading, OK, do. So we're starting a loop here. Now the loop could finish 100 lines away. It could be a very large loop with 100 lines of code inside it. So you may have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the loop to find out how the loop actually terminates. Secondly, see that line of code right there? Just by itself, if I separate that out by adding a couple of carriage returns, then theoretically there's absolutely no difference to the program. The program should still work. And the program does still work. However, just looking at that line by itself, if I just opened up my source code and looked at that line right there all by itself, I'd think there was something wrong with the program. I'd see a while loop with a semicolon on the end, which will actually compile and run, but it's one of those heinous crimes that you should never do in C programming, is put a, a semicolon on the end of a while loop. But of course it's not a while loop, it's a do while loop. But I wouldn't notice that immediately. It would take me a little while to, to look straight back up, up the page and notice that there was a do up here. And it's all the, I mean, even if you didn't have the, uh, the, the, the two blank lines there, it still can look a little bit like this is the start of a while loop, not the end of a do while loop. For that reason, I find it confusing, and I don't use do while loops myself, and I don't know many people that do. They have this uh, particular use for you when, uh, when reading user input that I find quite commonly, but apart from this, there's just not that many instances of it. There are always better ways of doing things in my book. So I'm not going to talk about the do while loop anymore. It's there. You've seen the syntax of it. You've seen an example. You know how to use it. Let's move on.